Alright, so what is up YouTube? It's Sneaky Come Back to you guys in the video, and this is gonna be my last video of 2017. I just wanna say thank you guys for all the love and support, especially all the improvements that we got on our channel and with all the blessings you guys gave us throughout the year. And we did hit 1k this year and it was a great thing. Um it was a great blessing for us. In this video, I'm just gonna be uh, showing you guys my top 17 uh, pickups of, of this year. So let's just get right into that and yeah. Man. All right, so for number 17, um, these are the two wild tigers. And um, just to let you guys know, I'm not gonna be doing an on foot for all these shoes. But if I do have an on foot or I have any B-roll, uh, you know, close-up looks on these, I will be giving that to you guys. But these are the two wild tiger uh, and Tony two wild and sock and collaboration, which is a great shoe in my opinion. I'm a big fan of these shoes and I'm a big fan of Tony D. You know, I got them signed as well over here, like I did, like I told you guys in this video. And um, yeah, man. So this is 17, and uh, let's just get right into number 16. So for number 17, not being a little biased or whatever, but these are the Bullet RC and sock and collaboration. I don't know the exact name on these, but dope shoe in my opinion. Like I said as well as the Tonys. Um, haven't worn either of them yet, but I will be uh, probably wearing these soon. Who got his signature? As well in New York City Senior Con right there. And um yeah man, I'm a big fan of this shoe, both of them, and um number 16. Let's go on to number 15. <coughs> so this is number 15 on my list. Um I did have these in my top five, I believe it was in the middle of the year. Um sneakers of 2017 or top seven, something like that. But I haven't even worn these yet. I just had to put them in this list because it is a great it is a great colorway. Um that gold and that white. I think it's just beautiful and um it's just a really nice shoe in my opinion. But you have the Air Jordan 13 DMP pack. Let's go into number 14. So it was a little bit hard to put these at on one of these uh numbers in the list just because I was a big fan of these when they first came out and now like it's just going down and down and down. I mean I still do like these really much. Um just like the the shade of the iridescent feel something like that of the chameleon feel on this but um these are the air jordan one all-star yeah man this is number 14 the air jordan one all-star and um let's get into number 13 so for number 13 it is these air jordan 6 flight jacket flight suit whatever you guys want to call it sns something like that but i'm a really big fan of this shoe the uh the materials on the top i really i forgot what it was this is just a dope shoe man you cannot go wrong with these at all all olive green just a beautiful shoe and i'm just a really big fan of it air jordan 6 uh flight suit jacket whatever you want to call it it. And um, yeah, man, this is number 13. Let's go to number 12. So for number 12, it is these Air Jordan 11 Winlock 82s. So you guys already know about this shoe. Just a dope shoe in my opinion. One of the greatest releases of this time of this year. I mean, it's not an OG colorway, and you know, not a lot of people like them. They did sell out, which I was a little bit um surprised on. But um, got my pair a little bit early, I think it was. And uh, yeah, man. So this is the Winlock 82 Air Jordan 11s for number 12. Let's get into number 11. So for number 11, I remember I did pay 290 bucks for these. And a couple days ago, I was looking on Stock X, and these are going for close to 400 bucks, which is a little bit weird in my opinion. I did pay, you know, like I just said, you know, 290, and I think that was a great price at that moment. I was like, do I really want to pay 290 on Air Max 97s? But I just decided to pull the trigger, and you know, now I got them for way less than they're going for now. And um, yeah, man. So this is number 11 on my list. Let's get into number 10. Alright, so for number 10, it is these Air Jordan 1 Royals, which is a great shoe, great quality shoe, beautiful shoe in my opinion, an OG colorway, which they brought back and which was a really good idea for them to bring back. Um, really dope shoe. I really love it a lot. And um, yeah, man. So this is number 10. Let's go into number nine. So for number nine, it is these Easy 350 Boots V2 in the blue tint colorway, which is the uh, closest, like the past release of these. Now, I was a really big fan of this colorway. Probably one of like the best. Probably like top three or top four for me of the V2 colorway. I haven't worn these yet, but a review will be coming out on these soon. And um, yeah, man. So this is number nine. Let's get into number eight. <coughs> so for number eight, it is these Yeezy 700 Wave Runners, which I did get after the release date. Shout out to the plug came through on that one. I did wear these at Senior Con day one. It's a little bit comfortable, not that much comfortable like I expected it to be. And um, just a great colorway, and I'm a really big fan of this dad shoe kind of thing. And um, yeah. So this is number eight. Let's get into number seven. Also, the review will be coming out on. Suit. So for number six is probably one of my favorite V2 so far. Um, I'm just a really big fan of this one. This is a better colorway than the blue tints. I'm sorry, I actually put the blue tints on like top five or something like that. But um, this is like one of the best colorways I think. Just that gray and the black, dark gray, something like that. Um, with that orange uh, supply 350 on the side, it's just a beautiful shoe. I haven't even worn these a lot just because I don't know if you guys seen the review, but I actually said that they were a little bit small on me. I actually wore them yesterday and they weren't that small because they had like some like a uh, couple of like papers inside of it, just like stuffing the shoe. And um, yeah, man, so this is number seven. And um, yeah, Easy Boost 350 V2 Beluga 2.0. 
Let's get into number six. All right, so for number six, it is the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in their zebra colorway. Probably one of my favorite 350s as well. Um, one of my favorite Yeezys in plain and simple. Uh, just a dope shoe. You can wear this with like mostly anything. I did wear these a couple like a couple times when they first came out, and they're a little bit they're getting a little bit dirty, um, which I'm not really happy of. But you know, we wear our sneakers around here. And um, yeah, man, so it's a great shoe. Like I said, I think I did a review on these. I'm not pretty sure. But if I did it, then I'll throw some B-roll up if anything like that. I really don't think you guys need any of that because you guys have seen this shoe plenty of times. Yeah, so for number six, it is these Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Zebras. All right, so we are now getting into top five, um, which is, you know, it was a little bit hard about this situation around this area. But I actually did get these two next shoes for retail yesterday, actually. And I wanted to get this shoe just in time so I could do this video. But these are the uh, LeBron 15 stained glass with the, sh uh, with the straps. This is a LeBron and Kith collaboration. I did get these for retail. I was I was vlogging yesterday, but it just got too cold and it was too overwhelming for me. I just I just couldn't anymore. So yeah, man, a review will be coming out on these really soon. And the next shoe I'm gonna show you guys as well. You guys probably already got a hit, but um, a really dope shoe in my opinion. We'll be wearing these pretty soon. Just a dope shoe in my opinion, and I'm really happy I got these for retail especially. And um, yeah, man. So this is number five. Let's get into number four. All right, so coming in at number four, it is these rose gold LeBron and. Uh, Kith collaboration with Bron 15s. Really big fan of this shoe with the rose gold zipper. It's just a really dope shoe in my opinion. I love these a lot. And hopefully I'll be wearing these really soon. Um, got these for retail as well. It's the same glasses like I just said. Yesterday at Kith NYC. But we'll be uh, doing a review on this really soon. And um, just a dope shoe in my opinion, bro. It's not even worth to describe how nice this shoe is in person especially. But um, yeah, man. Big fan of LeBron. Had to put these at least top four. Uh, top five. These are a little bit better than the same glasses though. Number four, let's go to number three. Alright, so for number three, it is Nike and up tempo, sub tempos, and the gold colorway collaboration. Um really big fan of this shoe. I wish it could have gotten the red and the black one at the same time. They were going for a little bit low. Because now these are going for skyrocket prices as well as the other ones in the collab. Which I'm not really too sure why. Um, you know, it's it, it, it is supreme, but um I don't think it's worth that much of going for. But if you guys want to pay the price, go right ahead. But I'm fine with my gold ones. The, you know, the price comes right for the red or the black. I'll definitely buy them, but at the moment, I'm cool with the gold. So, number number three, let's go into number two. All right, so coming in at number two is a shoe you guys haven't even seen I got on my channel. But we'll be doing a review on these as well. I have a couple of reviews that I got to put out for you guys. It's been slacking a little bit, but um, these are the Air Max 90 with the off-white collaboration. Guys, this shoe is so nice. Um, You guys don't even know, like... I'm not being, you know, a hype beast. Well, I am a hype beast, but I'm not being that much of a hype beast. Just because they're off-white. But even if they weren't off-white, I, I gotta say, that this is a really dope shoe, man. I just love this shoe so much. I'm not gonna go too in detail with you guys, because it's not a review. This is just, you know, showing you guys my top 17 pickups. But, and, um, yeah, man, off-white Air Max 90s for number two. Let's go into number one. Alright, guys. I think you guys should know what this shoe is. I did a uh, review on these, and I also told you guys a lot in the review how much I love these shoes. But these are the Travis Scott Air Force Ones, the Acid Airs, whatever you guys want to call it. Bro, there's not even any words to describe how much I love this shoe and how, how nice this shoe is. <clears throat> really big fan of this shoe, and I just have to put these at number one. This is just... Uh, a dope shoe. Alright, so that is it for my top 17 pickups of 2017. Um, thank you guys for all the love and support throughout the whole year. Most likely the last video. And tonight it's whole videos New Year, so this is gonna be the last video for 2017. Thank you guys for all of the support. You guys follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Senior Zero One. And that's all I got to say, man. Thank you guys for everything. Once again, I'm out of here. Peace.